All of humanity's achievements and evolution has led to this bar. Wow. What's up, you're watching Hive Mind, the most cosmic show on the internet. My name is Riley, as always, joined by my unseemly co-host, Graydon. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Today, we're putting context behind bars. This is Guess, Guess the, the Song, song from, from the Genius, Genius Lyric Annotation. All right, here's how it's going to work. We're going to read a lyric annotation from Genius and have to guess what song the lyric is from. One point for each one to get right. Me versus Graydon versus you, Anthony from New Jersey. That's right, little Tony. Time to get turned into a pizza pie. <laughs> All right, before we get into it, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more, HiveMindTV.com for our merch, consider joining our Patreon, it's only $5 a month to get extra content, consider getting a cameo from us if you'd like a special message, and we have a live show, June 4th in Detroit, Michigan, the lineup is out now, and, little announcement for you, special guest on the show. Should we tell him? Let him know! Renowned content creator, Nick is Not Green, will be joining us on stage for the live episode. I don't know how he's not green, because we paid him a lot to come on. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you there, tickets are in description. I'm not wearing pants under here. First one, Tyler uses this remark as a bit of comedy in the album, an example of a terrible and cheesy pickup line. Oh, you should know this one because you are the king of cheesy pickup lines. I mean, sure. I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't call myself the king. Yeah, I would. <laughs> that was kind of a pickup line, right? Hey, sexy, what's up? You look good. So which song does Tyler use a cheesy pickup line? Well, he did say that one time. Hit me on my beeper while Captain Hook sucks my Peter Pan. Yeah, he did. <laughs> That's kind of a pickup line. It's hard to pick up with a hook for a hand, too. Three, two, one. But what's your name? But Lumberjack. It is What's Your Name by Tyler the Creator. Yes. Dang it. Oh, you look malnourished. Get me some bread. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah, so he picked a purposely bad pickup line and then tried to justify it as a little writing exercise. Yeah. I hate exercise. We all know that. I prefer chilling. Yeah, chilling and is cool. Eating. I eat punches. <laughs> <laughs> I eat those. All right, next one. Oh, God. This girl's sex game makes Ye feel so good. It's like he's died and gone to heaven. Ye's calling Tupac to hang out with him in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> and then a picture of Ye at the pearly gates. This is a beautiful artist's rendering. It is amazing. Wow, sex game. Yeah, this girl's sex game. <laughs> Nobody says that. Her sex game was insane. <laughs> His sex game, incredible. <laughs> it sounds like your friend who's definitely lying about a, like a, a sexy interaction that they had. So, yeah. so did you guys like go all the way? And they're like, oh yeah, her sex game was crazy. And you're like, okay, buddy. This guy definitely did not. Definitely happen. didn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite sex game is Twister. Really? Yeah. I like Operation. <laughs> <laughs> I like people to put things in me and then pull them out slowly <laughs> without hitting a nerve. <laughs> <laughs> oh! You no, know, I have an operation coming up, but I need to save up some money because prices are surging. <laughs> Three, two, one. Hold my liquor. Hold my liquor. It's Hold My Liquor by Kanye West. Yes. Yes. We've got Pussy Had Me Dead. <laughs> Might call Tupac over. That line is actually so incredible, though. It is. It's like imagining heaven as a neighborhood. Right. In my head, I'm literally thinking, like, now that I'm in heaven, might call Tupac over. He's dead I'm as big, well. I'm picturing a cul-de-sac. <laughs> yeah. People tending to their yards. Like. He's like, hey, Pac, what are you doing? I'm next door. Turns out it killed me. Want to fire up the grill? I just had the craziest. <laughs> sex of my life. <laughs> I mean, her sex game was insane. <laughs> Next one we've got, Ruth's Chris is a steakhouse, so Saw Baby is referring to his girl slopping him up like a steak. <laughs> or if she's vegetarian, then a salad could be a good substitute. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Slopping him up like a steak. Sloppy steaks. Sloppy steaks. <laughs> Shout out to Tim Robinson. It really doesn't feel like it should be called Ruth's Chris. I know, I don't like it. <laughs> it's like a name with the apostrophe in the wrong spot. Yeah, it's like someone named Ruth owns something named Chris. <laughs> yeah. It's like Chris is not... Chris is a thing yeah. in this in this title. Ruth's Chris. Oh, have you seen Ruth's Chris? Ruth's Chris is way better than David's Chris. <laughs> David might have got the Chris before, but Ruth's got the new one. Ruth, show him your Chris. <laughs> Three, two, one. I put double dick. I put marsupial superstar. <laughs> this is trapezoid. Oh, oh, trapezoid. I don't even know what that shape looks like. <laughs> this isn't fair, Grant. It's not his fault you were bad at geography. Your bitch eat it up, so she calling me Ruth's Chris. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so funny like reading Saw Baby lyrics because each line is delivered with such a melody and such like a weird voice that yeah. you don't even really hear the words he's saying, you know? Yeah, this sounds so colorful and yeah. vibrant when he says it, but it's so basic when you read it. Yeah. Like, your bitch eat it up, so she calling me Roos Chris, yep. but it's delivered like a maniac. <laughs> <laughs> he can get away with pretty much whatever he wants. I mean, yeah, he's made a career out of rapping about bestiality. Yes. 
and like in a positive way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? No, I have a loving sexual relationship with a squid. <laughs> Got fellatio from a poison dart frog. <laughs> All right, next one. Oh God, here we go. Yeet compares his meteoric rise to fame to the explosives used by Osama bin Laden, the late Saudi Arabian businessman and founder of the pan-Islamic militant organization, Al Qaeda. Bin Laden is best known for collaborating with President George W. Bush and the United States government on the September 11th attacks. What a happy little picture. <laughs> Osama, look quite cute. <laughs> OBL. You know he's taller than OBJ. Oh, for sure. I think he's taller than me. He was 6'6", six, six, I yeah. think. Something like that. Kind of a, a 3 and D guy. Did, yeah. He wouldn't bang down low on the block. Yeah. Just because of his frame. Uh -huh. And when he was in college, he was a little undersized and he just used that range. Yep. Gotta be three men. But he was always long. You kind of knew he was going to grow a little bit because his arms, I think his wingspan's about 7'3". Uh -huh. And so now that he's in the league and he's gotten the proper training and he's been with the Suns, so Monty Williams worked with him like one-on-one -on -one, and now he's really turned into, I'd say like a better Reggie Bullock? Yeah, I mean, in you know, the Euro step, the, yeah. that really helped him out because right. he can do that kind of big man Euro step yeah. where you bow, bow, and you're over because uh -huh. you, the wingspan is huge. Yeah, you know it's I mean? like a, he's like a Middle Eastern Manu Ginobili. It, yeah, you exactly, know what I mean? Exactly. Without all the flopping, though. Without all the flopping. Yeah, he plays tough. He yeah, plays, plays tough. tough. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Last week against the Knicks, he went six for eight from deep. He was dropping bombs in New York. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, him and DeAndre Ayton, basically the Twin Towers over there. <laughs> Three, two, one. Put poppin'. I put get busy. It is poppin' oh. by Yeet. There we go. Big Yeet fan, everyone. <laughs> Loves the guy. All Yeet songs sound the same. That was a shot in the dark. Nah. Feel like Osama to us, because we blow up like a bomb. Thoughts? Boom. <laughs> that is so embarrassing. I went out with a pee stain the other night, and no one told me about it. Uh -huh. Had pee stain on me all night long. Big pee stain right on my shirt. On your shirt? Yeah. Why would you have a pee stain on your shirt? We went to dinner before, and the salmon came with like a like a kind of a pea sauce. Oh, and okay. And I spilled some peas on me. Gotcha. And I had, I had green schmutz on me, and no one told me about the pee stain all over my shirt. <laughs> I was covered in a big old pee stain. Yeah. Someone could have said, hey, buddy, you got some peas on you. you know, but no one said anything, and it wasn't until I got home that I noticed I was covered in a pee stain. And then I got pissed on by my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> This one says, Masked Wolf tells us that he gets no bitches. Interesting. Yeah. One contributor. This person's got the inside scoop. No one else even needs <laughs> to annotate it. This can only really be one. I was going to you know? say, yeah. If it's another one, good for him, I guess. <laughs> and I just want to say, this is a really reductive way to look at this song. And it's, I don't think it's fair. Astronaut in the Ocean. Oh, shoot. I just said the name of it. Mm -hmm. Fucking, what's his face? Mr. Guy. Mr. Wolf. Mr. Wolf. Masked Wolf put his heart and soul into these lyrics and look at what they're doing to him. He's getting ate up in the quote retweets. Yeah. Three, two, one. Astronaut in the Ocean. Astronaut in the Ocean. It is Astronaut in the Ocean by Masked Wolf. Thank God it wasn't one of his deep cuts. Yes. You know? Which bar? I believe in G-O-D. A. <laughs> Don't believe in T H O T. Huh. I'm realizing now. I think I've only heard the hook of this song. Yeah, I don't think I've ever really tuned in for the verses. I would have. I would have remembered this. Yeah, G O D and T H O T. Yeah. Is that what he looks like? Yeah. You never seen him before? No. Yeah. <laughs> he looked like Kenny Beats Big Brother. <laughs> what you know about rolling down in the deep? By the way. Not much. All right, next one. This line is responsible for exposing Lance Armstrong, Bill Clinton, and Monty Teo. <laughs> It has also been the main inspiration for Kanye West throughout his career. Wow. What could this, what do you mean? It's not like these guys got exposed for the same thing either. Lance Armstrong got exposed for doping. Bill Clinton took those flights to that island and cheated on his wife. And Monte Teo just got catfished. <laughs> <laughs> and not to mention the fact that this is also somehow the inspiration for Kanye West's entire career, yeah. which I am going to guess is sarcastic. And yeah. this song is new. Yeah, this is really weird. Three, two, one. I put American Terrorist by RXK Nephew. But Sisyphus by Quadeca. This is Sandstorm by Darude. Whoa, there's lyrics in that? No, <laughs> there's no lyrics in that song. Hey, the Kanye West bar might be true though. <laughs> yeah, it was before Kanye's entire career. Yeah. Sandstorm annotations, good. Beep, 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 <laughs> beep, beep. <laughs> Just a bunch of beeps. <laughs> this is so stupid. I encourage everyone watching right now in their free time to go to this genius page and just every single beep, beep or boop, boop 
is annotated differently. Really? Some are like, this line cured cancer. Some are like, it's just, it's amazing. Wow. That is good. <laughs> Sometimes the internet wins. This is a wonderful app. Yes, you know? <laughs> it is awesome. Genius is fantastic. I love that we have this. Yeah, you know? it has it has built in bits and you know, you can actually learn something. There yeah, too. it's a great fertile soil for comedy while yeah. also being something that you can actually go to for information and learn context yeah. for, yeah. you know? All right, as a result of Lean's popularity, the most popular brand of cough syrup activist was discontinued in 2014. Since then, lean has become much more expensive. Pints of cough syrup typically cost between $250 and $400, but have reportedly sold for $1,200 in some locations. <laughs> In 2014, Soldier Boy offered $100,000, what? For the remainder of discontinued cough syrup. By comparison, an average American household's rent is $485 per week. It's all Bieber's fault too. Mm -hmm. He gentrified lean. <laughs> Justin Bieber gentrified. <laughs> he, he literally did. Boom shakalaka is gonna be something I'm gonna start saying a lot. Are you ready for that? Boom shakalaka? Boom shakalaka, sugar mommy paid the rent again. Boom shakalaka. <laughs> oh, what? We getting shots tonight? Boom shakalaka, they're on me. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna start saying that a lot. What happened to Shibuya? Ah, no, the Shibuya is last year. It's the summer of Boom Shakalaka. Boom Shakalaka. Okay, see I like I it mean? with, with the head tap. It's cool. Boom Shakalaka. Okay, I'm in. Yeah, I'm see? in. I was thinking about Cowabunga for this summer. Cowabunga. Yeah, not even just like not jumping into a pool. That's no. a cliche. I'm saying Cowabunga. Like, here we go. I, like here we go. Yep. Like somebody's like, hey, what's up? You want to hit the bowling alley? And I'm like, Cowabunga. Let's jump into a game. <laughs> Three, two, one. I put Gucci Gang. Put solo by future. It is Gucci Gang by Lil Pong. <laughs> my cup costs your rent? Is my that lean costs more than your rent? My lean costs more than your rent. I knew, yeah, okay. My lean costs more than your rent. Ooh, it do. <laughs> it do. <laughs> me and my grandma take meds. This would be a good walkout song for an MLB player. Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang. Yeah. You know what I think? I think the person who gets walked the most in baseball should be given an award. Mm -hmm. A BB belt. <laughs> All of humanity's achievements and evolution has led to this bar. Wow. You know, this is kind of true of any bar. For that brief millisecond when the song is the newest song in the universe. Yeah. It is that. Everything has led to that. You know? That's true, yeah. That's beautiful. <laughs> but it is a little bit harmful to look at the history of the world as a red carpet rolled out for your little thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's a little bit of a Eurocentric point of view on the universe as, as a whole. Yeah. yeah. When I get hungry in Greek town, I'm a little Eurocentric, you know what I mean? <laughs> They're called heroes. That, well, they make my food. They're not heroes. <laughs> <laughs> They're not UPS. <laughs> Three, two, one. For a nut. Save your interlude. This is Plastic Surgery by Blade and Echo 2K. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> no sex with you, but I think that you should fuck yourself. <laughs> Hey, the annotation makes sense now. Oh my God. Jasper is multitasking, taking hits from a bong while simultaneously... <laughs> <laughs> Well, simultaneously fingering, oh, I don't want to say this. It's just so gross. Mm. You guys can read you it. You can see it. You can read it. Miley is a big fan of bongs, apparently. Notice the animal wordplay through the euphemistic juxtaposition of bitch and cat. My Real God. academic stuff here. You know, I bought $2 grills the other day. <laughs> Butt teeth. <laughs> yep. Three, two, one. Oldie? Oldie. It is Oldie by Odd Future. Let's go. But what are the only ones where Jasper raps? Right. So that's how I knew it. Catch me in the back with Miley's on my lap. Bong rips as I feel on that little bitch cat. Yeah, disgusting. Like some 2010 shit. Yep. Next one. Infant Ultron is referring to the fact that he is the goat, greatest of all time. So many bitches are underneath Babilus Dynatron <laughs> that they can't even spell goat. <laughs> Infant Ultron. Mm -hmm. Babilus Dynatron. <laughs> I have a feeling that Babytron's genius is full of stuff like this. Mm -hmm. He's just one of those characters, you mm -hmm. know? DJ Grant just did a walk with goats. Yes, he did. I did. Up here to the studio. My man, oh. that's us. <laughs> wow. Shout out to Strudel. Three, two, one. Put Jesus Shuttlesworth. Put Prince of the Mitten. It is Jesus Shuttlesworth by Baby Trump. Shot in the dark. Yeah. Just his most popular song. Yeah. Wow, that's, that's kind of, funny. That's what I went yeah. for. I'm the G-O-A-T, bitch. Can't you spell? I love that someone went into this and was like, oh, I got this one. Don't worry, guys. Let me explain to you. <laughs> Somebody posted a clip of an old Hive Mind video from about a year ago the other day. Mm -hmm. And even I clicked on it and was like, holy shit, like Baby Tron looks like me. A little bit. Like yeah. I when I had longer hair and like a little bit less of a mustache, it was like we got the same exact look going. I was yeah. wearing a beanie. 
bikini. Yep. He's wearing a bikini. It was very weird. I like looked at it and was like, oh. You're both thin. Yeah, I, I could be thinner. Really? Yeah, I think so. I could lose like, I don't know, 40 to 50 pounds maybe. You're going for like a Nicole Richie kind of thing? I'm going for like a Gumby sort of vibe. He doesn't really have much of a physique at all. I mean, yeah, yeah I don't want one. Oh. Yeah, I kind of want to be like flat straight down the middle. <laughs> Void know? of physique. Yeah. Interesting. I'm hated, I'm just only being objectified. You right. Know? I'm constantly objectified for my barrel chest and yeah. my huge muscles. <laughs> and, and, uh, <laughs> what? What's the laughing? I tell a lot of jokes on this show, but when I'm being serious, can we please just, you know? So you think it's funny that I get objectified everywhere everywhere I go? Does it happen? You think it's funny that I get whistled at in the street? No one does that. Cat calling is hilarious really to you. no one. I've never heard anyone do that. That I can't even go to a restaurant without somebody saying, show me your abs, baby. No one, no one does it. You can't even get a table at a restaurant. So fucking ugly. Yeah, because I'm too big to sit at it. Ah! <laughs> oh, you are really good at this comedy stuff, man. I this li I wasn't even a joke. I was just talking about my struggle. <laughs> Next, Cheerios is a brand of cereal, mass produced by General Mills Incorporated. They're shaped like small O's and have many other variations, including the very popular Honey Nut Cheerios. So this is just a description of oh, Cheerios. Cheerios. <laughs> Uh, pretty good cereal, actually. Not for me. I mean, it's bland, but... Frosted Cheerios are, like, are goaded. Yeah. I mean, kind of a deep cut, too. You don't find those that much. Felt no. like they could have ran with those a little more. I think so, too. I don't know if they wanted, like, sugary stuff to be part of their identity. So right. it was kind of like, hey, if you want the hard stuff, yeah. you got that, too. It's like, yeah, I sell weed, but... I got frosted weed. If you want. <laughs> <laughs> in, in another aisle. <laughs> I have about three, two, one. I put keep the O's, Tyler. I put wait for you, future. This is New Paddock by Lil Uzi Vert. <laughs> ah, New Paddock on my wrist. Oh, that's such a good song. I forgot about that song. Yeah, my boy's on the block selling O's, no Cheerios. I'm really glad he clarified I that. I was going to say, his boys could have been on the block selling General Mills cereal. <laughs> <laughs> What a stupid bar. <laughs> New paddock on my wrist. New time is the same thing. Wow. Something, something, I stink. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't. I'm not. I was wrapping the. Oh, my. <laughs> I like corn syrup on my pancakes. Corn syrup? No, instead that's of, not. <laughs> instead of normal that's syrup. That's not where it goes. Yeah. No, I just uh -uh. put corn it's syrup. It's not the same as other syrup. <laughs> if you go to an IHOP. Oh, do you guys have any corn syrup back there? <laughs> any warm, ready corn syrup? Wow. This is a verified annotation from D. Savage himself. In a day, I've gotten 20 texts and calls. Just random. I don't even have their phone number saved. How did you get my number? How did you get my fucking iCloud? Like, what? Just yesterday, I'm trying to go to sleep. A bitch called me. I put the phone up to the ceiling. I'm like, hello? Like, who is this? And it's a bitch just, I don't know, sitting in her bed like, who is this? I'm like, what the fuck? I hang up. I gotta block everybody's number. That shit is annoying. <laughs> How did D Savage's number get leaked? He needs yeah. a new phone number. Hey, this was five years ago, so yeah. I'm sure he's fixed that problem. This is kind of like you. I was gonna say, me and Mr. Savage have something in common here. I leaked my own number willingly though, because I wanted more friends. Graydon's number is hidden in a music video of ours, and he used to get how many calls a day? At least five. At least five, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I get one every other week. Mm -hmm. Numbers are down. Three, two, one. I put I know. That's what I put. It is I Know 2 by D7. Mm. The sequel. The <laughs> second one. The only reason I guessed that one because I saw the annotation was five years old. Yeah. I wasn't going to guess anything off the new album. All these bitches, they be blowing up my phone. This does not, this is such <laughs> a vague ass bar. He just gave way too much information. Two paragraphs. Next one. Oh, it's a little frog. In a little hat. I hate to do this to you. I'm pretty sure that's a toad, man. That's a frog. Toads are frogs. Are they? Yeah, they're born in the water. Can't you call all amphibians frogs, salamanders, geckos, <laughs> giraffe? A giraffe. <laughs> Parakeet. <laughs> Parakeet. What the? Parakeets are born in the water. Really? Parakeet water birth. Speed run. 2019. <laughs> yeah, so this is either a toad or a frog in a little pink hat with a feather. And it seems to be in someone's house, which is, oh, maybe he's the host of a dinner party. <laughs> yes, I was going to say. Yeah. Looks all dressed up for the occasion. It is really fucking cute. Yeah, we are just lucky to live in a world where little guys like this exist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am not even joking. Yeah, I know. Boy, oh boy. But what could this be? Could it be Slow Ride by Frog Hat? Three, two, one. I put Axel F. That's what I put. It is Axel F by Crazy Frog. Yes, I was overthinking it. Yeah, I was were. really, I was literally thinking like the occasion, dinner party. Uh -huh. This is the Crazy Frog. <laughs> He's been really depressed lately. Yeah, not I hope he's doing so okay. Crazy. Yeah, I think it's good though. You shouldn't feel crazy all the time. But if you could, 
Would you? No. If there was never the come down, if you were always just on the rise up, you know what I'm talking about? If you could no. just ride the crazy wave for the rest no. of your life, would you? No. Drink with no hangover? Wake up feeling just as crazy as the night before? Yeah, I got No. I mean, would you? No. If you had one ticket to crazy town, <laughs> would you take it? Probably not. It's a free ticket. <laughs> I, got, <laughs> I mean, ask someone else, and if you can't find anyone, I, I guess I can clear my schedule. I mean, can you just imagine it? Insanity front to back? Yeah. Never a dull moment. Yeah, no, I don't think I'd like that. It sounds exhausting. Me, I'd kill for it. Oh, shit. <laughs> kill who? Borderline anybody. Uh, no, I was just about to say, don't, don't say anybody. You can't say you. Borderline anybody. <laughs> That's gonna. There are certain people that I wouldn't kill. Uh, yeah, I Just hope. Just a few, though. I hope I'm one of them. Because this ride. <laughs> it's crazy. Is I get a it. crazy ride. <laughs> I got it, yeah. The whole way through. Right on. In a Lincoln town car. Oh, great. Nothing <laughs> crazy about a Lincoln. <laughs> this one just says fucking genius, which is a double entendre. On genius. Because it's a, yeah, it's on genius. Yeah. Uh, there's really only one song this could go with. What do you mean? <laughs> Three, two, one. I put Fly by Hobson. I put American Pie by Don McLean. This is Unlimited by Lucky. Oh. oh. I thought it was going to be the, did the man who go, went to college, did the man who invented college go to college? There you that go. line, yeah. you know? Yeah. We get high, we get fat, huh? Simple as that. I thought it was going to be Jack Flash sat on a candlestick and fire is the devil's only friend. Planes fly high into the night. Too light, that sacrificial flight. I saw Satan laughing with delight. Yeah. The day the music died. died. And they were singing, Bye, bye, bye Miss American Pie. Drove, drove my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was dry. Them good old boys were drinking whiskey and rye, singing, This'll be the day that I die. Singing, This'll be the day that I die. I met a girl who sang the blues, and I asked her for some happy news. She just smiled and turned away. I went down to the sacred store. For I heard that music years before, but the men there said the music wouldn't play. And in the streets, the children screamed, the lovers cried and the poets dreamed. Not a word was spoken. The church bells all were broken. <laughs> and the three men I admire most, Father, Son, and the Holy, Holy Ghost, Ghost. They caught the last train for the coast. The day the music died. Yeah, yeah. Don McLean, ladies and gentlemen. Don McLean. Last one. He actually implying that he himself is better, only because he is drunk. He is not saying her boyfriend is a bad boyfriend, as earlier stated in the lyrics. He is implying that her current guy isn't bad, that he, just that he's better. The song continues with sections in which Drake tries to coerce his unwilling ex over the phone. His efforts ultimately go unrewarded. Yeesh. Yikes. So, a creepy Drake situation. Uh, could be any fucking song. <laughs> <laughs> now, I understand cuties, but what the hell is a death cab? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining the intro to Cash Cab. You get in the cab, and it's like red lights. It's like, welcome, you're in the death cab. And he just like, floor, no. he floors it. I'm going to ask you impossible trivia and shoot you in the kneecaps for everyone you get wrong. This is Death Cab. And it's like, oh, jeez. Red a red light. You know what that means? It triggers a red light challenge. Here's the gun. Shoot a pedestrian. No. No. Three, two, one. Jaded by Drake. TSU. This is Marvin's Room by Drake. Ah, yeah. So it's another one of his coercion songs. I'm just saying you could do better. Tell me, have you heard that lately? I'm just saying you could do better and I'll start hating only if you make me. Damn. Classic gaslighting. Yeah, Drake does the gaslighting. All right, so that was the Genius Annotations game. I think we're going to do this one again. So this if you have fun. some funny Genius Annotations, send them over to DJ Grant. Also, we've hooked our Patreon up with a direct line of communication with Grant, helping him put together this game. So thank you to them for sending some of these over. If you want to be a part of that, join our Patreon. Other than that, like the video, subscribe, tickets for our show, all that stuff's in the description. But Graydon, would you like to leave these wonderful people with some advice to leave or live their lives by? Don't listen to the voices in your head. Listen to the voices in your walls. <laughs> all right, this has been High My TV, we love you, we appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next one.
Sometimes I get a little freaky in the bedroom, pour some chocolate syrup on myself and let Reaganomics do the rest. Trickle down, baby. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't do that. Interesting. I don't do it's that gross. at all. I'm very vanilla. Let's move on. As opposed to the chocolate, I'm yeah. very vanilla. Um, <laughs> Wake me up when you buy me a car. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna sleep through the whole process of me buying you a car? What the hell? Snores don't usually go on for like. It's usually like a. Oh, there you go. That was just, <laughs> my taxi driver said we were going to be there in five minutes, but it took us 15. Call that driving cap. Here's how it's going to work. We're going to get an anu aneurysm. <laughs> <laughs> That's a blood clot in your brain. <laughs> Kills you, usually. <laughs> Most of the time. It's also a great song by Nirvana. Yeah. <laughs> Love you so much, it makes me sick. <laughs> 